Occasionally, when a new set comes out that I'm interested in, I buy a booster box. I do this to support the game, show Bushy Road of the sets that we are interested in, and to just generally support card shops. When Fujimi Fantasia Bunko was announced for English, that caught me and pretty much everybody else in the whole community off guard. Fujimi Fantasia Bunko is a set that's based on the light novel magazine of the same name. It is a compilation set where they take various different series from the light novel magazine and they put it all into one set. Sneaker Bunko is a similar set, the one difference is that we did not receive that in English. I wanted to get a booster box because there was a build that I wanted to try out, you know, the Karumi cards. And I do like some of the properties that are represented into the set. Now before the set was actually released, there was like a wee bit of controversy. We were told that an origami card was going to have its art censored. Personally, I did not care that much about the censorship. This is merely cosmetic, but it did raise some eyebrows. So what is kind of neat about the card is that the actual beam that is coming across is vectored so you see the foiling pop out instead of just like a white beam. That is pretty cool though, but uh, I understand why they had to change this. It sucks, but I understand why. Afterwards, when the virus hit, the production of this set was delayed. When that happened, I thought, oh, great. Now they have more time to work on the set on, you know, just on some last minute oversight. And then we started to receive some cards off of the card of the day segment. It was not every day, but about once or twice a week, we were given a card as part of the card of the day segment that had card text errors. With the worst one being this card in my opinion. The errors started to become more and more frequent. Shout out to Boats Don't Sink, he was running America's favorite game show, Spot the Error. After the six cards showed up with an error, I started to get concerned. Thankfully, I did not pre-order a booster box, so I did not commit to purchasing the product, but this really has shown an issue that Bushy Road has not addressed before the set came out. The frequent issues and card text. I did make a video talking about some of the worst erratas of 2019, and I was planning on doing that again for 2020. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, the set that came out before Fujimi Fantasia Bunko, has 13 erratas, and I thought, wow, this list is going to be filled with nothing but JoJo. And then Fujimi Fantasia Bunko came out. There are currently 18 cards from Fujimi Fantasia Bunko that have card text issues, with 12 unique cards being on the list, and actually, that number should be 19 with 13 unique cards. They haven't caught this one yet. This set currently holds the record for the most erratas. A frustrated player base has made their voices heard, and Bushiroad announced on the White Shores website that they apologized for the high number of erratas in the set. They updated the erratas page, of course, and as of recording this, there is no date for a reprint. Alright, my thoughts. Bushy Road fucked up. Alright, video's over. Good night, everyone. No, I'm just kidding. It's hard to support Bushy Road when they do not have the quality control in place to consistently release high quality product. This, 18 erratas, and you know, you're, they're missing one, is not a high quality product. You know, it's a bad sign that when a new set is released, Players quietly wait for the errata page to be updated so they could actually play the set. Or alternatively, players will not buy that product and would just get the Japanese product instead because there's no issues in card text and there's no censorship. Unfortunately, the player base kind of just accepted this and I am glad that we roasted the shit out of them in the Facebook comments, emailed them about these issues and just held them accountable and we made our voices heard. They did apologize, and this is a step in the right direction. When changes need to be done, it is important for whoever is at fault to understand where that fault is. They stated that they are going to take extra steps to improve the translation process, whatever that means. Now the next set as of recording this is Bang Dream. Now Bang Dream is a Bushy Road property, so they're going to be taking extra caution with that set. With that being said, there's actually a lot of mistakes in the Bang Dream sets, but still. They, they take extra caution with their own property. I don't think that set is going to be a good litmus test. The real set that we could look at to see if anything has changed is going to be Slime, and that's actually on July 31st. <sighs> it's another set I'm interested in. Only time will tell if anything changes, and for the sake of the players, I do hope it does. This has been Lunchbox5930. Thanks for watching.
Hey y'all, Lunchbox here. Uh, I know it's a little different than the kind of video that I usually do make uh, style-wise, but I did want to make this kind of like this, try it out, and I will most likely do all of my Let's Explain videos like this, just so I could get them out a little bit quicker than normal. But yeah, hope you guys liked it. Thank you all for watching.